Good morning, we're in Moorhead City. Got the generator fired up. We're listening to the weather and we got a red sky at morning. All right, this is the back side of uh, Moorhead City. We're out in the bay here. Now, last night we came in to uh, 29, green marker 29. There's just a little finger piece of depth off of that and it's an emergency anchorage for us and would be for you too because it's just a very narrow piece of seven and eight foot water off the main channel. We came charging in there, dropped the hook and that was that. Now on the screen you can see that little strip coming up here and we're in the channel. It's very, very narrow. This is your channel as it looks. Then we're going to take and hook a starboard turn where that sailboat's coming out and that'll be our channel across and uh, into the Noose River. See the situation these folks are in with the water being up and uh, we got three to five inches of rain coming we heard on the news. So. Alright we got our mackerel sky forming so within two days we'll have a blow. 15 on the Adams Canal. We're just continuing to march right up it. Now, uh, one of the things we didn't pack on this trip because it was, took a lot of space was uh, fresh eggs. And uh, we walked all the way to that market to get, uh, one of the things I wanted to get was some Jimmy Dean uh, sausage and egg biscuits so I could get my eggs that way. And uh, well, you guessed it, they're moldy. So this is day 26. No eggs in sight. And I'm ready to mute me. Our green seven coming up. We're just coming into the intersection of the Noose River. Coming up on Red Six, coming out of Adams Creek here. And this is your sight picture. And this is one big body of water, and from the uh, guidebooks that we've read, I mean, it says it's no different than being out on the open Atlantic in a blow if this thing gets rough. So uh, we definitely don't want to be here when anything happens. have kicked up and we got to about 10 miles of uh, swells to go through to get off the, uh, the river here the new now let's see what we're gonna try to do is cut this shoal off right here show kind of get an idea of what we're going through by what he's going through over there we're just worse because uh, he's got about 15 20 feet on us a lot more horsepower. and a lot more horsepower he said we turn the corner from the noose into the bay river this is our location right here and thankfully, the end is in sight just up ahead here. So we'll go into another cut and we may be done. Uh, we've got a thunderstorm off to our left here. It's starting to look pretty grim. And we're heading into the cut. Spoken Bridge, this is actually the uh, shrimp docks, but they do let you tie up here for a, a fee. Well, 
everybody else is going and we've got group courage so we decided we go ahead and cross the Pamlico and uh, Pamlico Sound and get into uh, the Pungo River. Pamlico, we kind of take a jog northeast. We're uh, getting a little light rain at the moment. Now the noose, the Pamlico, and uh, now we're turning up the Pungo out here. All big bodies of water. And then uh, we'll go up uh, Albemarle Sound. Alright, that's uh, Wade's Point right there. That's your entrance into the uh, Pungo. Of course, it's you have to run to the end of it. It'd be a 10 mile run up this thing. You get to Bell Haven to the uh, marina. These fellows are boarding to give us, if you're ever boarded by the Coast Guard, tell them what they need to do. There's four million people watching. What what do they need to do if they're boarded by the Coast Guard people? Uh, what what they need to do? Yeah. Just be cooperative with everybody on board. Okay. And uh, like I said, we're just here to make, yeah, make watch sure it. your vessel has uh, <laughs> everything that's required to have for its size. Okay. Um, you want to? If, if you have any weapons on board, just go ahead and let us know immediately. Okay. So. All right. And. Do you want me to go down and show you the safety equipment? Or uh, yes, sir. Okay. And what they're checking is that we got a throwable device that uh, the model, and that it's not ripped, and that it's Coast Guard approved. Coast Guard approval number. Down below, they're checking the documents. The vessel is right here. They'll pick them up. A green three. Right. So, all right, guys. Bye bye. I wasn't able to film this earlier when the Coast Guard uh, boarded because it started raining. But uh, this is uh, shooting down the, the Pungo into the Pamlico. Now, we came from the Pamlico up the Pungo. And uh, we're in the town of Bell Haven.